The American Battlefield Trust loves maps. We use maps as much as we can, and if you're a member, you probably see and sometimes get in the mail maps from the Trust. Now, there are a few different types of ways that we can get at maps. We love using historic maps. Those historic maps made during the Civil War and then after the Civil War, and even during and after the Revolutionary War, can help us understand what a battlefield might have looked like at the time. Where did the roads go? What kind of fences were where? And who was where actually during a battle? We can use those for a number of things, not the least of which is how to restore a battlefield based on that and using other accounts and photos with it. Now many of you also like our animated maps. They're sort of like mini documentaries, but many people like the idea of being able to see a blue or a red or a gray line move across an area and you can see how the troops interacted with one another and lay it out graphically. And people can pretty quickly grasp a battle by using these animated maps, by viewing them in some cases over and over. But by far the most common type of American Battlefield Trust map is our battle maps, or our static battle maps. And these can show a variety of features. I'm looking at one at Gettysburg right here, and if you were to look at this particular map here, you would see, of course, roads. You would see fence lines. I look down here now, I see orchards. I see different types of fences on there, and I see contour lines. If I were to look on a map of this particular area, I would be able to actually see that the ground is descending toward the woods behind me, and you know what? The woods would actually be on that map. These maps are constructed using all sorts of historical information, the earlier historic maps, accounts, photos, and whatnot, and of course, um, data like claims files and other things as to what these farms looked like at the time. Yes, battles were usually fought on farms of Americans in the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. When it also comes to these maps, you will also notice when you look at them, you'll start to see a lot of names and sometimes some numbers. Of course, if you see a name, if it's in all caps or something like that, it's usually a commander, a commander of a corps or a smaller unit called a division or a still smaller one called a brigade. And then below that is when you start seeing the numbers and the states. For instance, you might see the 42nd Georgia, the 22nd South Carolina, the 1st Pennsylvania, the 8th Florida, the 6th Massachusetts. You get the idea. Those are regiments. Think of about three. 300 men from the same town or county or part of a state. And that makes up the basic fighting force of the Civil War. Importantly, we also show on our maps often different colors of backgrounds to say what land is preserved and what isn't. And of the land that has been preserved, we might say by which entity. And if it's in a bright yellow color, that's the tract we're trying to preserve at that one time. So make sure you look at your maps, use your maps, find the maps that work best for you, and understand history a little bit better.